uh, is David Agondoa. Now, Kenya, the, the Kenyan human rights groups have slammed President William Ruto over his remarks on how he intends to deal with sugar cartels in the western part of the country. LSK President Eric Theory has stammed the president's remarks as detrimental to the functions of the criminal justice system and the rule of law. NTV's Sydney Chazima headlines our bulletin from here. Kesi watoe. Na wao wenyewe watoke. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Tunaelewana? Na nimeambia mambo ni mangapi? Matatu. Wakitaka kuniletea kisirani? Either wahame Kenya? Ama nitawaweka jela? Ama wasafiri waende mbinguni? This particular statement now appears to have become the president's favorite chorus. A chorus that is now not music to the ears of members of the Law Society of Kenya and human rights groups. The demand that we want to make on the president is to not only withdraw and apologize for those very, very unfortunate remarks. President Ruto's remarks were directed at sugar barons involved in the court tussle over the Mumia sugar factory. The LSK now alleges that the abduction and release of Jaswant Rai was not a surprise. While the circumstances of his public abduction remain unknown, such statements by the president lend credence to reports that his abduction must have been related to the issues surrounding Mumia's sugar company. The tussle for the ownership of Mumia Sugar Company, which was acquired by the Sarai Group from Uganda, is at the center of a legal battle. In May 2023, the Sarai Group was threatened with a six-month jail sentence for contempt of court after continuing with its operations despite an order from the High Court barring them. The High Court order was set aside by the Court of Appeal, granting the Sarai Group the window to continue its operations in Mumia's. The case is said to have been filed by, among many, Jaswant Rai in what appears to be a family dispute. Hence the president's remarks. The statements also undermine the authority of the courts and signal a departure from use of legitimate dispute resolution mechanisms in favor of abrogation of constitutional rights, threats and intimidation. Jaswant Rai was released just two days after his alleged abduction. Sydney Chazima, NTV. Well, now over 600 shillings pumped into 12 developments.